In the last video, I talked about why I prefer my chromatic scale fingering. In general, I'll prefer a cluster of four notes over a cluster of two notes because it's more ergonomic and gives better economy of motion. The other reason I like this fingering is because it gives me better range of motion. If you look at all the thumb positions, they're all on white notes. So here's a general rule for fingering. Putting your thumb on a black note in the right hand means you're limited to ascending up the keyboard. Not that you can't descend with your thumb on a black key, but now you're sacrificing ergonomic and economic motion. It's just uncomfortable crossing over or under with thumbs on black keys. So when it comes to the chromatic scale, for the sake of range of motion, I'll prioritize four note groupings and putting my thumb on white keys. With this in mind, we can practice and explore the chromatic scale in a different way by reordering all the thumb positions. So instead of this, like in playing the chromatic scale, we can order our thumb positions like this. And build our four note groupings on them. For practice, try reordering thumb positions in your own way and build four note groups from that. So like this. Or like this. And if you're up for the challenge, you can try this in the left hand. 